In our previous tutorial, you have seen how to subset columns. In this tutorial, you will learn how to subset columns using the range function. Let's import pandas spd. I'll make one variable df and I'll call the csv file from pd. I will call the function read underscore cv and csv and inside this I will pass the csv file name which is titanic.csv. Let us look at the head of our data frame. I'll write df.head and here in the output you can see that we got a data frame here and we have this top five rows of this data frame. We can also look at the shape of a data frame. I will write here df.shape and here in the output you can see that we have total 891 rows and 12 columns. Now we will see how we can subset using the range function. Suppose we want to get all rows or the entire data set and only few columns. Let's say out of all these columns, we just want to get this top uh, starting these five columns only. So we can use the range function. And for that, first I'll make one variable and variable name will be column underscore range. And then I will call the function range and then I will say five. I want to get uh, first five rows uh, for first five columns. So I will type here five and then I want to convert this into a list. So I will pass, I will call this list function on this range function and now I will print column underscore range. Now here you will see in the output we have list here and inside this list we have some numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So these are the numbers and these are total 5. So we want to get the 5 columns starting from the uh, column first. So I'll tell you one thing that in Python the indexing starts with 0. So the index number of this column ID is 0. It's not 1. So we will have this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And here you will see we have this from 0 to 4. So we will get 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we will subset these columns using range function and in the output we will see the column names from ID till age and let's see how that will work. So now I'll make one variable df1 and then I will call our data frame which is df. Then I'll call one method which is ILOC and ILOC stands for index based subsetting and you will learn more about this IOLC in the next tutorial which will be totally on the LOC and the IOLC. So using IOLC we can subset our columns using the index number. Now it will take two parameter row and the column name. So first we will have to define or we have to pass what rows we want. So I want all rows and to, to get all the rows we have to type colon. So I will type here colon and what columns we want. We want columns this 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So here I will pass this variable column underscore range. Now let us execute our code tf1. So here in the output you can see we got the entire data frame which is 891 rows and we selected only five columns and as I said earlier that we will get these five columns in the output which is ID, P class, name, gender and age. So you can see that uh, we got this output and to tell you more about the IOLC so using the method IOLC we can subset columns by index number and you know as I've said that there will be a separate video on this IOLC and LOC in the next tutorial. So you don't worry about it now. You will learn in, in the next videos. Now you see that we can also get the columns from the middle. So here what we did, we found this column from this starting number which is 0 to 4. Now let's say you want to subset columns in middle. So we can do that also. Let's say I'll make one more variable which is column underscore range and then I will call this range function and I want to subset columns from starting with the index number 3 up to the index number uh, 7 and then I will convert it into list. So I will type here as list and then I will print column range. 
so we will get this column 3 4 5 and 6 and let's see what are those columns so we have this 0 1 2 and 3 so we will get gender 3 h 4 s i b s p 5 par 6 so we will get these columns when we will subset it now i'll make one data frame which is df2 and then i will call df dot ilc i want all the rows so i will type here column and i want these columns which is uh, which are 3 4 5 and 6 now i will print this df2 so here in the output you can see we got these columns names here gender age SIBSP and park as I said earlier and we got all the rows so using this race function you can also index from the middle of the data frame and you can also uh, skip one or two columns so uh, I'll tell you what we can do uh, now I'll make one variable column underscore range and then I will call this range function now I want columns from 0 to 6 now i want the alternate columns i will type here two so it will give me one then it will skip uh, it will give me zero it will skip one and then it will give me two then it will skip three it will give me four and so on let us print this column underscore range so here in the output you will see uh, we also need to convert this into a list so i will convert it so if you don't convert it into a list you will see we will uh, get this a generator here and we don't want to get the generator we want to get the list and that is why we are converting it every time into list and if i execute the code again so here you will see we will have this column 0 2 and 4 so at the index number 0 we have this column id 1 2 at the index number 2 we have this column name 3 and 4 and at index number 4 we have this column 8 so in the output we should get id uh, name and age let's see so I'll make one more variable which is df3 and then I will call df.iloc I want all the rows and then columns which is in column range and df3 let us print this so here in the output you can see we got three columns only which is id name and age as I said earlier so using this range function this is how you can subset your columns easily i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching